Let me start, step back and look at community and look at what we in our work call the good life. I've been a student of the good life, which started with Aristotle way back when, and people talk about the good life all, all the time. And in our research, what we found is the good life is this for people. Living in the place you belong, with the people you love, doing the right work on purpose. All four of those factors need to be there. Place is community from a geographic, physical presence. People are who you're connected with in that community. You can live in the most beautiful place on earth, but if you don't have connection to that community or connect doors in that, in that community, it's not gonna be the place you really want it to be. While doing the right work means bringing your best forward in some way to not only enjoy that community, but to serve that community in certain ways on purpose with a sense that your life matters and that you're making a difference in the world in, in certain ways. So I think communities can do a lot of things to bring people together into all kinds of configurations around what we call a sounding board. And a sounding board is a place where you feel listened to. I mean, look at some of the most successful experiments in the world. Alcoholics Anonymous, Weight Watchers, on and on, places that really bring people together into a sense of community sounding board with other people who get them and have a voice in things. Well, I don't think you necessarily need to belong to one of those unless you need it. Uh, but I think we do have a sense of uh, need for community. For 100,000 years, we've sat around fires with elders trying to figure out our future. Where are the fires? Where are the elders? Where are those circles of community that we can come to? In each sounding board, by the way, when you look at a solution and say, well, what is a sounding board? We think there's at least three things, that three people that you should consider for your sounding board. One is a committed listener. Without a doubt, as it relates to isolation, a committed listener is absolutely essential in, in our lives. Second is, an, is a catalyst, somebody who is an inspiration, either through their own life or through the questions they ask you or provoke you to, to, to get out and try something through modeling or through inspiration, they get you going and get you to be courageous in, in certain ways. And the third one is, who are our mentors or teachers? As we get older, we think, well, we need to be the mentor. There's a lot of young people who could be our mentors. There's a lot of other uh, ways, but we need, like teachers, we need people who show us the way, who, who keep us looking at the bigger picture and uh, things like this.